These are soldiers heading to Sambisa in Borno State, Nigeria, earlier this week. The military says the area has many fighters from the armed group Boko Haram. Here, the troops move towards what the soldier filming says is a suspected Boko Haram camp. They've been fighting the group since a state of emergency was declared on May the 14th in areas where Boko Haram fighters have been operating. And these are pictures of corpses of some of the people killed in the fighting that happened the day before. And the soldier recording this video says many of the people being killed in the war against Boko Haram are civilians. We can't show you his face or reveal his identity because he's not allowed to talk to the media. What I saw when I went to the front line was a lot of dead bodies. People, mothers, almost 3,000. You cannot walk from point A to point B without marching on dead bodies. Small, small children, females. It's our own people that we're killing, which is not good. Is that what you're saying, that civilians have died? Enough civilians have died, more than Boko Haram. The soldier says the dead people in these photos are civilians and says these are some of the people's homes destroyed by the Nigerian military. There were not more than 30 or 40 Boko Haram fighters in the village, but the civilians did not have security to get out. Boko Haram would not let them. The military denies that civilians are getting caught up in the fighting between them and Boko Haram, civilian casualties. but says it but will investigate any evidence of civilian death. Most of the encounter has been out of civilian population, and so there's no reason why you will find civilians in such locations. We can't independently verify what our soldier says about civilians dying in the military offensive against Boko Haram, but he's been known to us for years, and we asked him why he agreed to film for us. I am doing this because of injustice. The Boko Haram are being killed, but the casualties of the innocent is more than Boko Haram. Humanitarian organizations hope to be granted access to areas where there's been fighting, so they can see the situation facing civilians for themselves. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Maiduguri, Nigeria.